Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're having a great morning so far. And uh, I'm going to invite some people in here. So, good morning, Dean. So, we're dealing with Galatians 1.10. As I read this this morning, I looked at it as a reflection verse and uh, a huge question. So, and uh, here's what it says. It says, for am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. <clears throat> and I read that this morning. I was like, oh, man, that's kicking the side of the head. That's one of those questions that you like, okay, evaluation time. Am I pleasing man or am I pleasing God? Am I more focused on what man thinks about me? Am I trying to re win the approval of, of, of man and what, you know, am I trying to trying to get the cool status with man or am I trying to uh, really you know do everything I can do to really work and honor Christ with my life good morning mom and so you know and then at the end it says if I were trying to please man I would not be a servant of God in that in that sense if I was so focused on pleasing man then I really wouldn't be good morning Sherry I wouldn't really uh, pleasing God. Now, if you flip that around, I'm pleasing, I'm serving God. Then I'm really honoring the Lord as I, you know, am working for, you know, like I, I pastor a church. So I'm, I'm serving the church people, but ultimately I'm serving God. As you go to work today... You're serving, you know, those around you. But if you do it with the right heart, you're serving God. If you do it that way, it really makes a difference. You're not serving man. You're serving God. It's your, what your focus is, right? And so I'm thinking, yeah, then if you have the right motive, right heart, that makes a whole lot of difference. But if you, if you flip it again and you're serving, if you're worried about what people think of you, and not what God thinks of you, then you, you've kind of missed it. You've kind of uh, um, kind of twisted that what your purpose in life is, you know. And, uh, and then that really kind of messes it all up. Because <clears throat> our goal as followers of Christ is to first serve Christ and then serve man, not the, the other way around. And really, we, it's its not our purpose to serve man. It's really to serve, be a servant of Christ. And, uh, yeah, just keep that focus, you know, keep that focus. And then, you know, I love, I care for people, but I want to care. I want to do what Christ has in my life and for me in my life. And that's has to be our focus so so this really is one of those verses there's several verses throughout the bible this is one of those verses that cause us to evaluate our purpose our our ideas or what we're doing right <clears throat> so think about that today so get out your notebook this is mine so getting ready for a new one. Can't believe the year is we're at near the end of November. So new notebook coming up. Already got it in my office for next year. So well here it is. Galatians 1.10. For am I? It's an evaluation question, right? This whole verse is evaluating us. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? 
If I were trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So, so I'm just going to pray for the unspokens and uh, just because we all have them. You know, I, it, it seems mundane that I always say that during the, at the end of this devotional time, but it's true. We do have unspokens. I have them. You have them. But and maybe you just don't have any today. <clears throat> so you can just pray with us for the unspokens of everyone else. And uh, so let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray for the unspokens that um, we have. Lord, whether it's finances or health, Lord, that Lord, that you know the what's in our heart, what's in our needs, Lord, that you just meet them. And I pray that you just hear our prayers. I pray, Lord Jesus, for us as we go out into this world, that Lord, that we'll be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. Lord, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.